Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Liga Portugal. It's Benfica facing Porto. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is how the starting eleven looks for Benfica. Joao Mario starts with David Neres out wide. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, it's the basic 4 4 2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And so the match is underway. Uribe. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. take efforts like that all day long Bar Otamendi it's with Rafa Florentino well he is so very gifted and dynamic Gonzalo Gedge what do you anticipate seeing from him today well Derek over the years he scored so many goals it's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper and we know what the result is. Now to win it back. Evan Nilsson. Space afforded him. Wendell shown inside well possibilities in the centre and a throw in for Porto Steven Eustachio are showing good patience. Wendell. No problems for the keeper. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, that is how to play advantage. And in the perfect position to read it. How can he take them on and beat them? Ha! 
has a go. The save was a good one. They're going for the short one. Otavio. Excellent defending. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. How to dispossess your opponent. Well, Porto have certainly controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Yes, really going so well for them and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Rafa. Rafa, and he takes it on, and the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Mehdi Karami, Evan Nilsson. Oh, stylish ball, what can they do now? Galeno, Steven Eustachio. With a textbook interception. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Crossing opportunity. Gonzalo Gedge. David Neves. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Now, who can he play it to? A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Getting forward. A chance to whip it in. Throw in here for Porto. Dangerous looking attack. Is it going to be? And still danger here. But offside is the decision here. The flag is up. Far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? Well, it is a yellow card for accumulation of offences. Well, it was only a matter of time. He's been on the edge for quite a while now. Teammates available. And no way through. Determined defending. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they keep it going? Just the challenge that was required. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute.
A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Rafa, on to Getch. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. David Neres. Now with Toremi. Could play it in. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Otamendi. Aursnes. Verissimo. Gonzalo Getz. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Gonzalo Gedish. Well read to put an end to that attack. Now can they counter clinically? Ottavio. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Joao Mario. Gonzalo Gedish now. In behind for him to chase. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Now we're into the final half hour. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Rafa. David Neres and return to Gedge. Nicely timed tackle. Breaking at pace. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And couldn't keep himself onside. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. <laughs> João Mario. Rafa here. Chiquinho. Running with the ball confidently. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Clears it away. And getting the ball forward. Joao Mario. Well read to ease the pressure. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Plenty of support here. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Paremi. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Difficult to stop him. Oh, good vision. Can he put them ahead? 
terrific block. Gonzalo Getz. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. How can they create something? Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Not a time for composure on the ball. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Looking for the angle. Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. a super ball over the top he takes aim and calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even well he's got to be pleased with that he might just have got his team a draw here well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches who can they pick out well no problems defensively An alert intervention. And options in the centre. Can he finish this? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Short corner. Able to get a body in the way. The high press was very much on. Marvellous anticipation. But he needs to be careful here. And that's for what will be a Benfica throw. Referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over and nothing to choose between the sides. And they kick off here.